what's going on everyone welcome back to another video guys so guys check this out check it out check it out guys we got a xbox one wired controller everybody that's got a controller that has that main factor you guys have experienced this issue where the left joystick is causing the game to steer right or left the game that I was playing at the time was Call of Duty Warzone. So I basically moved my joystick up and the character in the game moved to the right. If I move my joystick down, the character in the game moves left. I took the joystick apart, blew out any type of dust in here, put everything back together. And now as soon as I pour it forward, I can't make this up. When I pull forward on a joystick, my character moves left. And when I pull downwards on a joystick, my character moves right. <laughs> it's a cluster. This thing is broken. The true solution is to actually replace this whole chip itself. However, I do have a new controller on the way, which means that we can break this controller more. Okay, so we're going to try a couple of things to see if this will, you know, provide some sort of justice to this issue. I got some hand sanitizer here. Now, this hand sanitizer has <laughs> been sitting in the window with the lid removed. So it's, uh, you know, not what you're used to seeing. Oh, look at that. It expired. Okay, that might be why. <laughs> I didn't even know hand sanitizer had a actual date for expiring. I truly did not know that. That's something new. All right, let's go ahead and close her up. Okay, nice and close. I'm going to put this bad boy back on. Okay, and we're just going to work around. Go on a little CPR. Work it around. wipe up the hand sanitizer access i'm also going to use the q-tip and dip the q-tip in some alcohol and try to shove it in between here like so so that way i can clean in between there i'm not trying to apply too much pressure because then we can really break these things off Again, this is just all experiment. This controller is dead. Uh, there's no reinstalling the Windows drivers to try to resolve it. That does not work. It's an actual mechanical issue. This needs to be desoldered, replaced, and then a replacement needs to be soldered. As a you know temporary measure while we're waiting for our new controller to come, we're just gonna experiment to see if rubbing alcohol and hand sanitizer can bring this thing back to life. Okay, we got some rubbing alcohol. Let's go ahead and see if we can shove up in here. A bit dirty. You guys can't really see it, but it's a little bit of debris. Just try to work it in, but not break it. The joystick itself is, you know, nice and free. It's not sticking, so it's not necessarily any debris in there. And you can see how it switches back. Probably hard for you guys to see without the actual thing on, just in case you guys can't see that. Let me clip that back in place. That's actually not correct. That position is not correct. Spin that like that. And now that hole, you can see that hole needs to be aligned with this, which is basically just straight. So let me make an adjustment. Bam. And now we can just pop this back in like so. And this is the same way. To remove it, you just pop it off, pop it back on. Be careful because it will break. 
I'm not responsible for any damages to your controller. All right, guys. So basically, we hit the game controller with some cool air, and then we came back and hit it with some heat. So she's warm. She's definitely warm to touch. We'll let her cool off, and then we're going to pop everything back on and test it out and see if we're still getting that issue. All right, so I got all the buttons. Got all the buttons reinserted. We gotta just flip this bad boy over. But first, let's go ahead and get this realigned. Okay. Sound like so. Sandwich this thing down. Flip this around. No. Yep, no. now the buttons are on. Okay, alright, so now. And run a quick test just to see how she runs. The controller. Okay, so I'm pressing the button. Windows seizes the controller. I think you do it. Okay, so it sees this. Alright, now here's the test. What? What? So as you can see, it still has some drift. It's not really centered. But if we move up, it moves up. But it's moving up to the right. Up, it went down. As of right now, guys, when I move forward, I can move forward. I don't go right or left. When I move backwards, I go... Let me, let me scroll over. I go straight backwards, okay? Now, I'm not actually lined up correctly. But... As you guys can see, when I go forward, I go forward. When I go back, I go back. Whenever I go left, I go left. Right, I go right. So, we actually temporary address, well, I guess you say we partially address the issue. Partially, okay? Let's get out of here. Yeah, it's starting to come back, guys. It's like the more we use the sprint function, it's like the controller is slowly adjusting to reactivating that functionality. So I gotta see exactly, you know, what other games, like how, how it uh, interacts. But I mean, if, if we could just enable sprint, um, you know, continuous sprint, Shucks, we'd be good to go. All right, guys. So as you see it, it's working somewhat. Okay, it's much better than what it was before, but it needs some tweaks. When I adjust, it's hard for you guys to see, but on your controllers, you'll be able to see it. But there's basically uh, a little slot where you can stick a little flathead. When I adjust it, move it around. What I notice is that on the actual screen, I'm, I'm on this website, Gamepad Tester, to test out the controller. What I notice is that it allows me to adjust the sensitivity. So now the controller is on, you see the light is on. And if I press a button, and now you see on here, on this website, when I move the controller, this was somewhat over here. So basically what I did is I popped it off, took this part off, popped that like that. Then I took my flat here and I just basically made some adjustments here because the contacts on the other end is what's really truly providing the connection. This controller is now 100% fully functional. Check it out. We're not moving anywhere. Up, down, left, right. Up, down, left, right. Seeing that we were able to resolve our issue just by cleaning the controller, now it points to, with this particular controller, okay, there's a common issue 
that eventually, I guess the dust and the debris from over time, it gets swept inside. That debris is getting in those contacts and it's just making it unreadable to the motherboard of the controller. But anyway, I'm hopping off guys. I am good to go. Chit chat with you guys later. Again, again, this was a great experiment. But I must say, use caution and proceed at your own risk. <laughs>